Well, you met Ronaldo once, is it? But it was pretty special. The defender that he does it against is completely bewildered. So I'm Welsh, and even I like this. <laughs> Del Piero is a Juve legend because he stayed with them all the way uh, through his career. Good times, bad times, the relegation down to City B, but of course in the Champions League, so many golden memories against Manchester United. He uh, often proved deadly, but there's one backhill goal that he, he, uh, he produced in the final against Borussia Dortmund that Juve lost. Absolutely astonishing goal. He won the Champions League once, three times his runners up, you could say he was a bit unlucky. It was his vision, his creativity, his technique that really caught the eye and his goal scoring record just added to that, it was the cherry on top. He's called Filippo with an F. That's called the inverse way of rap music where they have like fat with a PH. Inzaghi, one of my favourite players, I know he didn't rub everybody up the right way, Sir Alex Ferguson with that memorable quote about him being born offside. Whatever it was that he did, and a lot of people said that he was almost the worst footballer ever to play football. He didn't have a great touch, didn't have great technique, people used to say, but boy, could he score goals, and so many of them in Europe, particularly though, Milan's last uh, victory in the Champions League in uh, Athens against Liverpool, his brace, absolutely classic Inzaghi. Eusebio scored 47 goals in total in the European Cup. Three times he was the top scorer in the competition. Sort of on the level of Pele really, but not quite as uh, influential as Pele, but as a goal scorer, it was, was second to none. And it was unfortunately that when he played against Man United in the, in the 68 Cup final, that he, he was on the losing side. He was known for his supreme athleticism, his pace, his power, and of course his eye for goal. He scored pretty much a goal a game. After bursting onto the scene for Dynamo Kiev with a hat-trick at Camp Nou, Andrei Shevchenko went on to become one of the greatest goal scorers in European football history. One of the best strikers in Europe in his time. Good combination with Sergei Rebrov, but wherever he went he scored goals except for when he came to the Premier League. Andrei Shevchenko in his pomp was an absolute legend, a goal scoring machine if you will, efficient, fast, smooth, deadly. But what most sticks in my mind in terms of the Champions League is his appalling miss when he bottled it in front of Jersey Dudek in the Champions League final in Istanbul. Alfredo Di Stefano became synonymous with Real Madrid's domination of European football in the 1950s. He scored 49 goals in the European Cup. He was known for his tactical awareness, his vision, his versatility, and in front of goal he was absolutely deadly. He's Real Madrid's second highest top goal scorer of all time. A defeated finalist in 2006, Thierry Henry went one better with Barcelona in 2009, winning the trophy against Manchester United. He was very much dying on the vine at Juve, and they didn't rate him at all as a potential striker. So they didn't think he had the finishing. Huh. What about that wonderful goal uh, at Highbury against Man U and he flicked it and volleyed it? What did he flick it with? His hand? <laughs> One of the players on the list who can continue to write his own legacy. Real Madrid's Cristiano Ronaldo has been in free scoring form for Los Blancos since joining them in 2009. He also showed prolific form for Manchester United, including a goal in the 2008 European final against Chelsea. He scores from everywhere. Head, left, right foot, sets loads up. Yeah. He's got to be the best Champions League goal scorer. People don't quite like him. I think it's because he's too obviously preening and self-confident, but the guy's an amazing athlete. Great impact player, match winner, and he can hang in the air like magic. What I liked about him, in all the goals he scored, I think he only scored one goal outside the box for Manchester United. So he was your typical penalty box goal scorer. Sort of sniff around the penalty box, around the six yard box, um, he'll score for you. His Champions League record's exceptional. He's world class. But he never won the European Cup. And to me, to be a great, got to have a trophy. Again, also never really performed for Holland. I mean, I know the Holland squad, they just like to have an argument yeah. a lot, and I'm not quite sure yeah. what that's all about. Like a stag night, of course, to see Dublin you know, as a few pints. <laughs> you know, you end up in the street, I'm a row. Yeah. That's the Dutch national team, that's why I imagine them, you know what I mean? Yeah. A three-time Champions League winner with Barcelona before the age of 24. There's a new breed of player, a more it. complete player. If he gets half a yard, he can make something happen. He's the best player in the world, I think. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, he gets, he gets pretty good service. Um, would he be as prolific somewhere else? I think he's that good, he could, because all you've got to do is give him the ball. Yeah. Great, great balance, centre of gravity, it's like Maradona. Small, very difficult to knock off the ball. 
He's only 25. He's gonna he's gonna take it on, isn't he? Yeah, I might be right there. A name synonymous with goal scoring and a name synonymous with Real Madrid. Los Blancos' all-time greatest goal scorer is also Europe's greatest goal scorer in the continent's biggest competition. Obviously a great goal scorer, but played in some great teams as well, who supplied him all the ammunition he needed. Yeah, Raul's the all-time goal scorer of the Champions League, and he's all right, I mean, he's not amazing. I, I don't think he'd get in the comedian stock of 16, I really don't, because we've got Omid Jalili up front, there's no way he'd get in front of Omid. Big Real Madrid fan, isn't he? As was Ronaldo, as is Robbie Keane with every club he joins. Not it's that. funny that. Yeah. yeah. He must have like a lot of tops he bought as a kid. I just think he's very enthusiastic. <laughs> Spurs, Celtic, yeah. Liverpool. Yeah. LA Galaxy. Yeah. Yeah. Big big support as a kid apparently.